Ripley's World of Unbelievable Animals. She picks up the trash, takes out the mail, fetches on command. Still not impressed? Well, how about this? Believe it or not, this water-loving spaniel named Shadow is about to try scuba diving. While Shadow is now the star resident at the Folsom's family home in Boynton Beach, Florida, her prospects were looking pretty bleak before she met Dwayne. I got her from the local Palm Beach County, Florida dog pound, and uh, she was uh, apparently a runaway that nobody wanted. Come on. The two became inseparable, and soon, Dwayne was even taking Shadow on family vacations. After learning the fundamentals, Shadow could be found tearing up the ski slopes of Aspen. But on one trip to the Bahamas, Dwayne noticed how excited Shadow was getting every time the family went scuba diving. When we'd go out diving, she would jump off the back of the boat and she'd try to follow us down. So Dwayne, a retired engineer, began working on a plan to get Shadow below sea level. The result? The world's first patented canine scuba suit, complete with a clear diving bubble that seals water tight over Shadow's entire head as well as an oxygen regulator and even an intercom so Dwayne and Shadow can communicate. But once underwater, would the suit actually work? Dwayne and Shadow get set to put the suit to the test. 10 seconds into the dive, Shadow appears fine. Remarkably, a minute later, Dwayne is able to use his underwater intercom to actually give Shadow commands. Seeing her alert and responsive after a full 10 minutes, Dwayne satisfied that his canine scuba suit is a success. Shadow's ready to hit the open ocean. According to her vet, Shadow doesn't suffer any ill effects from her underwater escapades. And Shadow's now logged 392 open ocean dives. So many, in fact, that she's received an honorary passport from the Cayman Islands where she spends her vacation time making unlikely friends with the local sea life. And these days, Shadow treats all the underwater animals she meets as potential playmates. She loves diving with the big stingrays. She kind of has a mate. will drive themselves up the wall. But how long before they come crashing down? Plus, an unsightly illness left her horribly disfigured. See how she's turning the tables on the disease that transformed her looks. And the primetime event you won't see anywhere else. You're just minutes away from one man's awesome attempt at a mile-high bungee jump. It's coming up in tonight's Ripley's Challenge. Stories you can't imagine, people you won't believe. Ripley's Believe It or Not. You know that amusement park ride where you stand against the wall in a circular room and then the room begins to spin around, causing the centrifugal force to pin you against the wall? Once you're spinning fast enough, the floor drops out and you're left stuck to the wall like a magnet. Well, we found a couple of guys who do this exact same trick while driving. Every year, the small town of Dasna, India holds a popular local fair. Rides and sideshows draw crowds from miles around. But the main event, and by far the fair's biggest attraction, is this four-story well of death. Where, believe it or not, Inside, two daredevils will attempt to avoid a crash while driving up the walls. It all begins five days before the fair opens. Workers assemble a series of wooden slats 
that make up the Well of Death's sheer 40-foot walls. And if you wonder how they get the car inside, they actually build the wall around it. From the outside, the structure appears solid enough, but inside, with the sun shining through, it's hard to picture this rickety building being a safe place to drive a vehicle. But these daring young men have been training for months to do just that. It's showtime, and the performance begins. The first driver prepares his motorcycle for the event's initial ride. He must quickly accelerate to a speed of 40 miles per hour. Any slower, and gravity will pull this young daredevil tumbling to the ground. Even though one slip-up could mean death, he lets go of the handlebars and rides with no hands. But that's just a warm-up for what's coming up next. Attempting to drive a car in this perpendicular fashion at the same time is almost suicidal. One slip, and the well of death will earn its name. The car begins its treacherous climb up the wall, gradually picking up speed. At this height, the driver must constantly maintain his high speed. Any slower, and he risks crashing into the ground. Despite the danger, he stuns the audience by leaning out of his seat, opening the door and waving to the cheering crowd, careful to keep his foot on the gas pedal. Even a slight loss of speed could mean disaster. After a few very tense moments, both the car and motorcycle come safely to the end of their rides. You could see the motorcycle and, and, and the car together. If one of them don't go according to plan, you can, you can see what, what could have happened. Amazingly, while others have been maimed or killed during these dangerous events, our two daredevils have completed over 250 rides without injury. Believe it. Here on Ripley's, we often get the opportunity to celebrate extraordinary people who live unbelievable lives. And with that in mind, we'd like to introduce you to Ms. Porter Colley. It's been said, real beauty comes from within. And nothing could be more true for this woman. You see, 75-year-old Porter Colley is afflicted from head to toe with a disfiguring disease. And there's nothing this proud woman can do about it. Born in 1926 outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Porter Colley was a beautiful little girl, and she dreamed of becoming an actress. But by her 12th birthday, Porter received the awful news that would put an end to those carefree dreams. A strange bruise on the back of her head appeared and wouldn't go away. Doctor's tests verified the terrible truth. A time bomb was literally growing inside of Porter a mysterious and rare disease known as neurofibromatosis, or NF for short. And though she already had the condition, doctors told her it would take years to develop. In the meantime, she tried to live a normal life, at one point even becoming engaged. And until her early 20s, Porter still had her movie star looks. But then it started. The first tumor came on my head up here, and there's still a hole up there. The disease moved slowly at first. Porter held on to the hope that her case wouldn't be a severe one. Some people just have the cafe LA spots and maybe one or two tumors. It's, it's very varied. But over the years, tumors caused by NF have spread from her face to her back, even forming under her skin. There are other tumors inside and out. I had a tumor removed from my neck, and it was as big as a large turkey egg. While some tumors are surgically removed, there's nothing that can really be done to the thousands of others. If you have something and you can't fix it, learn to live with it. For Porter, a hard bump doesn't just cause a bruise. It actually forms a new tumor and just moving around can cause the tumors to bleed, making everyday functions hard to handle. It's hard to get clean. Uh, 
and the, a lot of the tumors are very painful. It, it hurts to be hugged. A gentle hug is fine, but a slap on the back is excruciating. Still, since the early 80s, this brave lady has been guest speaking to future doctors at Harvard. Her mission? To help them look beyond the physical and to see the real patient. I'd like the public to know that we are not contagious when we have NF. I can understand why somebody would get up sitting next to me in the subway and run off. People point and stare, call me names. That doesn't hurt my feelings. I feel sorry for people who do those kinds of things because they have a worse problem than I have. Instead of hiding, this courageous and popular woman can be found chatting it up on the streets of her hometown of Rockport, <laughs> taking care of her cat, Harry, or hanging out at the local yacht club, of which Porter is a proud member. It's not easy to live with, but I'm not gonna stay in a closet because I don't look like the beauties. Currently, there is no known cure for NF. But even at 75, Porter is hopeful someday there will be. In the meantime, she says she'll just go on accepting her whole self, tumors and all. The more tumors I have, the more there is of me to love. Thankfully, none of Porter's tumors have tested malignant. We'll be right back. Kevin Thackwell is about to pinch every inch of the flesh on his face. His painful attempt to attach 120 clothespins. Plus, her body is covered with famous faces. I love Stevie Wonder. I think that's so cool. But you won't believe what body part she's tattooing now. And the Naked Newscast creating its own sexy headlines. It's just nudity, just nudity, that's all. Coming up on Ripley's. 